Well, hello YouTube, how you doing? Um, okay, so, as you, well, I've been going on about NVIDIA a bit, so I've sort of gone off that subject for now. I did actually get a new headset, because my other head, my other Razer, Razer headset had some issues. Um, pretty much the, the fact that it died. Um, so you've got, okay, so this is pretty much what it is, it's a 3D, it's a Sound Blaster th uh, Tactical, uh, Tactic 3D, which is basically, it's a USB, uh, based, uh, Headset, which is nice. It does pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It's got some equal. It's got some special. It's got some special and interesting features, which I thought were pretty cool. Uh, you got the default profile. We can which you can adjust the crystallizer and everything else. It's got all the creative stuff built into it. It's got a scout mode as well, voice effects as well, so you can change your voice and shit, which is fantastic. I have to actually do a recording of what my voice sounds like on it. Um, point I'll have to see I'll actually have to do some maybe cut some voice stuff into it so yeah that's, that's pretty much at the moment I've installed the drivers and everything else it works pretty well I've been using it to talk on Skype and things like that I've also got a uh, I also bought a Repu headset which is a wireless headset Rapu oh, it's the same brand as my as the keyboard I bought a while back um, R-A-P-O-O and it's basically a wireless headset. It's designed to receive wireless calls, and you can, you know, talk to people wirelessly. You can do a lot of stuff wirelessly. You can also take it out of the kitchen or whatever and do other stuff and things of that nature. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a, it's a nice headset. Um, I've used it on and off. Uh, it's currently sort of on charge at the moment, so that's all right. Uh, working very nicely so far. That's not too bad. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a lightweight headset, so it's not designed to be a heavy, really heavy headset. I wanted to get a wide headset and a wireless headset, basically, uh, for the time being. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much these two headsets anyway. I, I, I ended up getting both of them in the mail, and they, you know, they took a little while to arrive, but they eventually arrived, and it was all good. But this is pretty much the headset that I use as my main sort of headset now, which is pretty good. Got a nice mic got a reasonably good mic from what I can see it's a very nice one um, equalizer voice effects appearance combination of it is it's got a lot of it just got a heap of stuff so I mean it's got a you know it's got dialogue plus and a smart volume it's got it's got some good settings in it anyway so it's not not a bad little headset I'm pretty impressed with it so far and I'm pretty happy with the end result that it's giving me so there's that headset which is cool uh, the Repu headset which uh, you don't really have to install software if you don't want to. Um, I haven't really, uh, I haven't really got much. No Those are the only two new things I've got in the sense of computer items at the moment, mainly because of my other, my other uh, headset that I had for uh, Razer was actually fucked. It already had become fucked, uh, pretty much because of the, the heavier end of it, uh, which was just the way the headset was designed. I think it was more a design flaw than anything else. So, and I couldn't claim it onto warranty mainly because I, because I'd accidentally bent the uh, USB connector and everything else, and it was just yeah, it, it was no way I was going to get back get it back onto warranty. So, I've what else have I been? Well, pretty much the last few weeks I've just I've been doing I do about three or four repairs in the space of a week, which has been great. I've been getting those repairs out of the way, got those repairs out of the way, had another repair come back because. Uh, client was still having issues with the computer being slow. I worked out what was going on and got the computer running up to a normal speed. Um, what else? Aside from that, just I've gone back to Windows 8 obviously because it just gives me better a better run for my money at this point in time. Mainly because they've, they haven't worked out the NVIDIA issues as, as you all, as everybody knows, which is rather frustrating but it happens. Um, when I got that there, I've edited that. I edited a file there which that file we end up doing with it most of the time anyway I, I need to do a couple of camera files as well just test that as well but my rendering program works fantastic it says producing movie and producing movie has been completed so at the end of it it says the produce file is there there it is there's the end result and I brought it to 2.24 gig okay so that's good I'm happy with that the thing that I was getting with uh, with Basically, with my other, or sorry, on Windows 10, uh, I couldn't even get the rendering program to render anything for that matter. So, <clears throat> I'm back on Windows 8, which 
isn't frustrating me at all. It's I'm quite happy because there's a few things on Windows 8 that I've missed. For example, which most people don't know, but in the sense of um, uh, like no, there's a junk button right here. There's a there's a no junk button here. Now that should be something that's included in the Windows 10 Mail program, but it's not, which is rather is which is rather annoying to be honest. I don't understand why the hell that is the case and what bullshit that's all about, but it doesn't include that. So that sort of annoyed the shit out of me, to be truthful. Um, at the end of it, you know, there's not much I can do about it, but I'm to the point that I actually fix it. But uh, there's, there's a couple of little gripes I had. I didn't mind the Windows 10 to, Windows 10 desktop environment. It wasn't shitty. It wasn't as if it wasn't it wasn't as if it was a crappy environment. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I, I could bear with it, but some parts of it were just not very bearable in the sense of being able to, you know, it was okay to use sometimes and not so okay other times. But I mean, the other end of it too, um, <coughs> I shouldn't have had to go through as much rigmarole as I did. Pretty much had to go back to Windows 8, had to go back a couple of drivers, as... I think I clearly indicated before, which was rather annoying. The driver actually got in here is eight point something, uh, three point five, uh, five fifty, three fifty three point something. So that's three fifty three point something, and that's it's one of the as it's one of the older drivers. So I've had to actually go back a few drivers before I got everything to work properly, or most of it. I mean, okay, you know, you're going to have a little hiccup here and there, but most of the stuff on here is working reasonably well. My games that I've wanted to actually play do work pretty well and they will work on the resolution I expect them to work on which is my default resolution for my monitor which was annoying because I couldn't even, I couldn't even get the default resolution of my monitor to work uh, previously so yeah <laughs> so at the end of it it's down to NVIDIA's drivers having issues it's down to the fact that NVIDIA's drivers are dodgy at this point in time they've tried to fix things they've they've stuffed something Obviously, they've stuffed something up or stuffed something in, up in between that time period, and clearly they need to look into why the hell their drivers are screwing up so much. Reinstall my programs, as you can see. Um, at this point in time, yeah, that would be the main things. Um, I, I think that's a bit, it's pretty much the main stuff. I've sort of, I've gone back to that. I've, uh, what else? I need to do some more HD recording for my uh, wireless device, my, uh, not my wireless device, my, um, my Xbox 360, to be honest, I need to do some more recordings for that, but I haven't actually done any, I started playing F uh, Fable 3 and stuff with a friend, and we couldn't, we, sometimes we'd get the multiplayer to work, sometimes we couldn't, so it was, that was rather frustrating when we could and when we couldn't, so at this point in time, I'm sort of annoyed, I'm annoyed because I basically had to go back to Windows 8 to get everything functioning at a normal level, you know what I mean? Like, pretty much, it was just the way it was. So, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's going to turn into another NVIDIA rant if I don't stop now. But my point is, okay, um, everything's working okay. As I said, I've got my new headsets. Their drivers aren't too bad. I've been working with those pretty well, but they're, they're pretty cool so far. I'm pretty impressed. Uh... And I've got the wireless headset, the Repu headset, which is not too bad. It's basically all it's it's that hasn't got a detachable mic like um like the Creative headset has. Uh, what else? I picked up a new fan as well, which was um, my originally my fan died, which I ended up picking up a Sunbeam three three speed uh, tower fan, which I my previous fan was a similar sort of fan, it was a similar design basically timers and everything else and then you know, I like uh, ionizer or something built into it and things like that basically I've got a sunbeam fan which is nice it's giving me good airflow and my room's been a little bit well a little bit cooler and it's been a little bit more aerated as well so you know it's been good in that sense of things um, which has been great it's been quite cool to be honest <clears throat> at this point in time uh, I've been pretty happy with most things. I mean, I could probably have a bit more business, to be honest, but, I mean, you know, that that's neither here nor there. Eventually, it'll pick back up. It sort of slows down, picks back up, slows down, picks back up. I have had a couple of people make inquiries, but unfortunately, I couldn't really help them because it was a more complex issue and just, it, economically speaking, it's just not viable for me to repair it. The amount of labour would, that would be exerted would just cost them too much. And the truth of the situation is they're probably better off going to actually find somebody, uh, you know, or find, buy a new laptop, basically. Um, 
the other side of it is uh, what else do I have? I had something about hinges. I had something about LCD screen falling apart and things like that, and other stuff of that nature. I mean, okay, that was a Dell laptop. I, that person hasn't responded to me as of yet, so we'll see what the, whether that person ever if that person gets back to me. Um, I've asked them for a model number and things like that, and they can send me a couple of photos, and I can actually see what the hell's wrong with the actual monitor or if there's issues with it. Um, on the laptop in question, uh, as I said, you know, there's certain times where it's just not economically viable to fix it. Okay, so, I've done that, uh, what else? I've, yeah, I've had a couple of inquiries the last few weeks, it's just uh, been busy, I mean, I, you know, I, I separated and did my own way, I, had a couple of issues with some things going on and my other stresses in my life and I just went, no, I don't need that stress anymore and I just, you know, let the negativity flow away and I'm feeling better now for not being around these things and being around generally around that stuff, it just makes me feel better and uh, I'm not stressing as much, um, which is good, you know, it's just great, I'm, I'm not stressing as much, I don't feel as stressed, I mean, you know, uh, life isn't going to be perfect because, you know, we, we all have little stresses at times, but I mean, things can sometimes stress you more than you would expect in a given situation, and things can make you feel ten times worse in some cases, in some, some circumstances. So I mean, at the end of it, I've just walked away from the situation, I've, you know, I admit there's probably points that I was probably pissed off in that situation, I did some things I didn't actually mean to do, it wasn't necessarily what I meant to do at the time, and you know, it was just me being pissed off and I did what I did because I was pissed and I was angry um at the end of it you know uh <laughs> well that's my justification in my mind so you know at the end of it that's that's what happened and it happened this is just the world it's you know you're gonna do stupid things when you're pissed off maybe I was a little you know drunk in between that but I mean who you know then we all make stupid decisions, whether it's drunk or sober or not. We've all made a couple of stupid decisions in our life that we've sort of regretted, or not necessarily regretted, but we, we didn't fully think, think through the consequences of our actions sort of thing. And, you know, we didn't... We acted a little bit on just the anger that we had at the time. Now, I mean, I don't do that very often, and it only is a, every so often that I actually end up doing it, but when I do it, it normally ends up being a relatively large thing that I end up doing it to. So I admit, you know, no one's perfect, I'm not perfect, and I think everybody inherently has, you know, different levels of that throughout their life, so, you know. Uh, I'm just going to admit that I'm not perfect, I, I need, I need things that I need to work on, which I have been, to, to be honest, I've been working on those, and to be honest, being around those people has given me, I've had to, well, okay, firstly, some people, and I'll be honest, there's some people I've found in my life that I had I, I, to be around them, I, I had to have a couple of drinks because I'd stress being around them. And I find it boring being around them. Or, you know, I, <laughs> basically, they, to be honest, these people would drive me to drink in some cases. So I think, you know, the negativity of that, I just, I walked away from it. No, I, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that shit. You know, I mean, I, I, when I get drunk, I'd rather get drunk to have fun, you know, to be honest. Um, not to relieve stress, but <clears throat> come to the conclusion, you know, things will work out in the wash eventually, and you know, things will find their their way around anyway. But I mean, at the end of it, I've worked it myself that I'm doing pretty well with things. I'm doing, I'm pretty happy with where I am at the moment. I could be further along, obviously, but that'll take time. You know, that's gonna work to my advantage. I'll just keep on going and plodding along with what I'm doing and. I'm pretty happy, I'm not sad, put it that way. So, at this point in time, I'm feeling happy, feeling pretty for life, most of it. I mean, I'm trying to sort of, you know, <clears throat> uh, motivate myself a little bit more. The last few weeks I haven't been feeling as motivated, I've just been, you know, vegging around a bit and watching a few TV shows and stuff and just not feeling like I really want to do much. And then, you know, so all of a sudden I was like, oh, I have inspiration now, I can do something, you know, and I, I feel the level of motivation and energy I had before. So, you know, I mean, at the end of it, it's sort of, it's a tangent thing, because with my videos, I, I have to have that that level of energy to get into things, and actually get things, and actually have to have that level of things, 
I have to have the, that, that level of energy to get to get back into things and make things focus, you know what I mean? And I mean, at the end of it, I did, you know, so, I don't know. Nobody's perfect. And, um, I think at the end of it, I've just walked away from the situation doing what I can do for myself. You know, going my own direction, finding my own way, uh, doing my own thing, and basically being for the betterment of myself. The... You know, the, not the better moment of anybody else. Not trying to fix everybody else's problems. Just trying to fix my own problems. Basically. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix my own problems. I'm going to muck around with my own issues. Before I muck around with anybody else's, to be honest. So, at the end of it, I've walked away from... <coughs> <coughs> I've walked away from everything and I've just gone, you know, fuck it. It could be worse. <coughs> oh my god. Need drink of water. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck shit over. There we go, that's better. <coughs> Sorry, I had to fucking drink some water. Okay, my point is yes. <coughs> I've got to that point in my life where I know what makes me happy. I know what makes me not stress. I know what makes me do what I, you know, <laughs> that gives me the ability to do what I do and, you know, what focus me, what focuses me best. You know what I mean? And at the end of it, what focuses me best is, you know, working with my computers and stuff, working with my gaming PCs and everything else and doing all my, the stuff that I love, alright? I love my IT stuff. And it is something that keeps me going, alright? And it's something that keeps me focused as well. Now, in a given situation, I'm not always, you know, out doing my own thing. But to a certain extent, <coughs> it abuses on my life. And, um, you know, uh, I mean, not the entirety of my life. I mean, at some point, I may find somebody in the future who has the same line of passion as I do. But, as you know, as I said, uh at this point in time, I'm just working on some stuff for myself, but I mean, at the same time, if I meet somebody along the way, that's good, but, <clears throat> uh, I'm trying my best here, I'm trying my best to be the person I want to be, and you know, I'm a good person, I'm not a bad person, so I consider myself reasonably good most of the time, I mean, I have done a couple of, I've done, I've done some vindictive things, and I've done things for revenge, and I've done things because I've been pissed off. I'm not denying that. But, even if I have, I think just doing a few bad things here and there, and you know, I'd say a percentage of the time, at least 90 to 70% of the time, I do the right thing. Uh, that has been honest for it's not always the case, but 90, 90, 90 to 70% 70, 70 of the time I do the right thing and I, I, had, I had the right direction with people. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much, YouTube. Stay tuned to my channel as per usual. Uh, stay tuned. Come on, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can also send me a message if you want to. Uh, up to you. Uh, as, as always, you can do a combination of other stuff too. You can send me messages, you can do, you know, heaps of stuff like that. Uh, what else? <clears throat> um, so, uh, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, all those lovely services you can subscribe to me on. And, as always, stay tuned to my channel. It's always got the interesting tech stuff coming up, as well as, you know, just stuff that I randomly do on the repair engine thing, and such, such of that nature, anyway. So, stay tuned, I've got more coming up, obviously, I don't know, at a later date, I think, I just, at this moment, I'm sort of, I have the motivation, but then I've sort of lost the motivation in some key areas, I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like doing this, no, no, I don't, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, maybe I'll do it, you know, I sort of hum and ha about it, you know, anyway, thank you very much, and, uh, catch you, YouTube, bye. Well, hello, YouTube, I just let to show you the actual Sound Blast new headset that I ended up getting, alright, so hold on a second. Just minimize a window. Alright, so this is the new headset I ended up getting, which is the Tactics 3D Fury Sound Blaster headset, which is a nice headset. Basically, it hooks in via. Oh, damn it. 
hooks in via USB. A little USB sound card thing there, as you can see. Nice little thing, which basically plugs in. I mean, it's a little, pretty good headset. I'd, uh, so far, I'm, I mean, the only thing I'm sort of annoyed with is a bit of the build quality because these are all plastic. When I had bought one of these headsets before, they've sort of had some metal to them or some type of metal in them. Uh, this one is particularly just all plastic, so... I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's it's not shitty or anything like that, but... It's the other one, which... The other one I've got... I've got this one. And I ended up buying this Repu uh, wireless headset. It's basically like a, almost like a Bluetooth headset, but it's actually got a wireless dongle thing that goes plugged into your computer. It's a little wireless headset there. That's a nice headset. I I think I paid like 40 bucks or probably less, like 20 bucks or something like that for it. Something around that cost anyway. And this was like, there's a bit more actually, I think it was like 60, 70 bucks. So, I've got those two headsets, which are replacement headsets, that's pretty much from my Razor, Razor Tooth, sorry, Razor Tooth, Razor Blade, or Razor um, headset, which my 7.1 headset, which was having a lot of issues, to be honest. Uh, basically, because I'd bent the USB connector without realising I'd actually done, uh, I'd actually bent it, which I didn't realise I'd done this. So now I know, and you know, that's all good. It happens. Um... I couldn't really claim it the warranty because I bent the actual connector, so it wasn't a big issue. Uh, at the moment, I'm just doing some YouTube production. My coffee cup, which I've got to take out and wash up at some point. Been having bottled water lately, which has been a pretty healthy choice for me. Um, keeps me going. Which is ice house water, which is not too bad. It's my dad's actually been getting some of it from work, so it's quite nice stuff. Also, I picked up a new fan as well because my other fan was pretty much fucked. Um, tried booting it up and I tried powering it up and everything else, it wouldn't even spin. So my other fan was pretty much screwed. This is a little remote. It comes with a remote like my other fan previously did. Uh, it's got a timer on it. It's got different timer displays. You can set the timers. It's also got a night mode. Uh, a couple of other bits and pieces, different fan modes and oscillation and stuff like that. It's a sunbeam brand anyway. So not too bad, not too snazzy at all. Uh, over there is, is obviously got my air conditioner in the corner there, which is spectacular. Um, now, uh, I'm back on Windows 8, as people may have previously seen, which is cool, that's all good. I'm on Windows 8 at the moment, so I'm doing that. Uh, mainly to just be able to actually do games and render fucking videos, because I couldn't do any of that before on Windows 10. <laughs> Which was rather frustrating, to be honest. Um, what else have I got? Also, pretty much, I've just been chilling. I've been, I've been trying to been trying to find myself as well, you know, in combinations of that. That, that, uh, that, there is another headset hung up there, which is my old, uh, what's my old, mm, Turtle Beach headset, which, the Z60 is okay, don't get me wrong, but it's it, it's pretty much broken because the headset's pretty much worn out. Uh, at this point in time, I'm just going to say that headset's pretty much fucked. Well, it works, but I I'd mainly, I'd mainly just use it for like my mobile stuff, like for my phone and stuff, if I want to listen to music and get really deep bass and stuff and things like that. So, what else? Well, that's pretty much it. I've just been chilling, doing my own stuff. Um, Trying to keep myself busy as well. Also, put some extra fans in my computer as well. Uh, down the bottom, I put a small fan which was, goes down the bottom, which is a blue LED fan. Got two fans up the top, which I've rearranged my cooler now, which I, I didn't. I had a. Um, what did I end up using? I ended up using a. Um, I ended up getting a new cooler for my CPU, which is great. That works. Everything, everything else works on it. Works spectacularly. Very nice. Very nice cooler. Um, a new SLI bridge as well. Can you actually see that? That's, not, that's my new SLI bridge, which is a nice little snazzy bridge. That uh, was nice compared to my my original bridge was much smaller. It just did it, it didn't have a, as much LED lighting stuff on it as well. So you know, uh, I just wanted to snazz it up a bit. Which, to be honest, my LCD, uh, my uh, SLI bridge looks very nice, and so far my games have been working pretty well. What else? Um, I've well, got a couple of little bits and pieces lately. I mean, I haven't got heaps of stuff, but I've been getting a couple of things on and off. Uh, it's mostly just been stuff that I've needed for my business type stuff and stuff that I've needed to be able to talk to, talk to people on the internet and, you know, do other stuff and 
do basically other stuff on the internet as well. You know, a combination of, so yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, not pretty much that. I'll pretty much go on that side of it anyway. Uh, oh, I got some beetroot on my hand. <laughs> I didn't realise I got beetroot on my hand, but oh well. Um, pretty much at this point, I think I'm going to dust my case out tomorrow, maybe the next day. So I'm going to just dust a few things out. I'll probably dust my dad's and my nephew's case out as well. Um, yeah, that'll probably be most likely what I'll be doing. I've got a, at the moment, I've got a 770 at this point in time. I've got my two 770s at this point in time, which um, are going strong so far. I haven't had any problems with the games that I've been that I've chucked at, chucked at, chucked at them so far. Which, uh, as I said, I've the main problem I had with Windows 10 was pretty much the drivers and the SLI being fucked in that sense of things, just not being able to work properly and do things properly. So everything's pretty up, pretty much fixed up. Clean my mouse off a bit. Cleaned up over some other stuff, and then I got my mic here, as you can see. Which you know, I'm planning on replacing that with a Razer mic, to be honest, at some point in the future. That won't be for the future, though. It won't be for a while. Uh, and I'll probably end up probably replacing my two graphics cards with like two 770s, uh, 970s, sorry, two 970s. In the future, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe 970s, or possibly the next model up, which will be like a nine. Was it nine? So we had like a 1070s or something like that. <laughs> something along those lines anyway. Um, so this is pretty much my plan for the moment. As you can see. Uh, pretty much er everything's in place where I expect to be. I'm a bit more organised now. I mean I still have my stuff to sell and you know stuff to do on eBay and such and things of that nature. And I still got a lot of that stuff I've got to fix up. Uh, which I have been doing on and off. Haven't sold much on eBay lately, it's been a bit quiet on that front. Uh, repairs are not too bad, they come and go. Uh, haven't sold any computers at the moment. Was hoping at some point I will sell my laptop, a small laptop that I have available, which I'm trying to sell, and a small desktop. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Basically, at this point in time, it's just you know play it by ear and see which direction head things head. So at this point in time, I'm going to say. Uh, Pretty much my new headset, which is nice. Uh, actually, see if I can get the box down. So people can actually see. Uh, I don't know if I can actually get it down. Uh, okay. so this is the actual headset itself. It's got all the usual bits and pieces built in there, as you can see. It's got all the usual creative or sound blaster technology. Scout mode, scout mode dual, dual headset. It works with PS4 as well, from what I've been told. PC and Mac. It works with PC and Mac, and as far as I know, it works with PS4. Well, I was told it works with PS4. I don't know whether it actually does. Uh, is there an indicator on here? There should be something. Uh, there should be an indicator somewhere, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing it probably does. I don't know. I'm just. I'm going to say that it probably does work with the PS4. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much, YouTube, and um, as per usual, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please stay tuned for more sort of reviews, which is this is sort of a review, but not a review. It's a combination thing, but you know. And of course, this Sunbeam fan, which I got, which is this brand new fan that I ended up getting. Nice little fan, very, very stylish. Nice looking silver. Uh, the remote actually can go back. The remote, the little compartment at the back. So if you stop the oscillation, oscillate it to there. You can actually stick the remote in the back, like that. And you've got the remote that sits in the back, and also set the oscillation to go around. But yeah, I mean, nice little fan, good fan, does well. So far, I haven't had any issues with it. It's got, it just comes with the usual two, I think, like two-year warranty or something anyway on those particular types of fans. So we'll see how we go. Um, my desk is a bit messy, unfortunately. Uh, also getting a couple of new herbal meds and things like that. I had to reorder some of my stuff that I normally get. Uh, what else? Um, that. That is my torch, which works pretty well. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the moment. Um, yeah, that'll pretty, be, pretty much be it. So I'll stay tuned. Thank you very much, YouTube. Um, 
Hope you enjoy my videos as per usual, and uh, stay tuned for more stuff coming up, obviously at a later date. At this point in time, I don't know what it's going to involve. It's probably involve a couple of more reviews on different technology that I'll be getting in the next few months or so, just to do that type of stuff. So, you're right. All right, good. Thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned on YouTube. Catch ya. Bye.